Hello, and thanks for joining us. I'm Elaine Reyes in Washington, D.C. It's a terrifying new reality across northern Nigeria, Cameroon, Niger, and Chad. Young girls becoming Boko Haram's deadliest weapon. A staggering report from the United Nations Children's Fund says one in five suicide bombers used by the terror group is a child. CCTV's Catherine Ngunde reports on the devastating toll this is taking on families and the region. In early February 2016, two young women walked into Dikwa displacement camp without raising suspicion. Hours later, they blew themselves up, killing 58 people and wounding 48 others. The third suspect surrendered to police. In 2014, 26 suicide attacks were recorded, compared to 27 attacks as of May 2015. The United Nations Children's Fund estimates that at least three quarters of these attacks were carried out by women and children. Since July 2014, nine suicide incidents involving children aged between 7 and 17 have been reported. This is based on eyewitness accounts. Jean Go, UNICEF's representative in Nigeria, says women and children suicide bombers are victims and not perpetrators. Unless they're protected, they're at risk of retaliation by community members, hindering reintegration once rescued. UNICEF estimates 743,000 children have been uprooted by the conflict in the three most affected states in Nigeria. The number of unaccompanied and separated children could be as high as 10,000. UNICEF and partners are working with national authorities to reduce children's vulnerability by identifying children without guardians and providing them with appropriate care. So far, more than 35,000 children have been reached with psychosocial support to help them cope with the acute distress they have suffered as a result of the conflict. Catherine Ogunde, CCTV.